This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, Fernando Diaz wants to know, what does Bruce think of Arn's concept of eating a hamburger with no cheese? Bruce, I know you don't listen to Arn's podcast, but it, he he's drawing a line in the sand saying there is no such thing as a cheeseburger. That's how you ruin a hamburger. It's a hamburger, no cheese. The cheese overpowers the meat. I, he and I have big heat over that. Cheeseburgers are fantastic. Where are you at on Arn's take that cheese does not belong on a burger? The fuck do you have a cheeseburger without cheese? It's just called a hamburger. Okay, that's fine. You know, the only the only burger that I don't eat with cheese is I will get a uh, double whopper, no pickle, uh, no cheese. Like double whopper, no pickle, no cheese is like so. What's it's on it? It's bread, sometimes. two patties. Is there? There's ketchup Lettuce, and mayonnaise. Tomato, onion, mayonnaise, and ketchup. Okay. So literally everything except cheese and except yeah. why, why no cheese there? I'm curious. I, because when I was a kid and I would only eat a hamburger plain, just meat only, nothing else on it. My mom was like, oh, you got to try it. It would be delicious. And she went to Burger King and got a Whopper and she cut it in half and she made, basically made me try it. And I was like, son of a bitch, this is really good. Till I got to the pickles and I was like spit the pickles out. So that was disgusting. So then she got me one without pickles. I was like, well, fuck man, this is really, really good. So that's just how I eat a Whopper. Anything else? You got to have cheese. You got to have cheese. Well, you need a cheeseburger. I love cheeseburgers. I love, I love cheeseburgers with American cheese. I love cheeseburgers with cheddar cheese. I love cheeseburgers with Swiss cheese. I love cheeseburgers with all kinds. Colby, Colby Jack, Pepper cheese. Jack, yeah. Pepper Jack, that's, yeah. And uh, Put some goddamn cheese on the motherfucking burger. Now, do you melt the cheese? I like the Juicy Lucy's with the cheese in the middle. That's a JR thing. He's a big Juicy Lucy. That's a goddamn Lenny Backin thing. Backin. Well, he, he's the cheese master. He sent me a bunch of cheese for Christmas, by the way. Yeah, me too. I love it. I've been wearing it out. I don't know. I got on a cheese kick this holiday season and now I'm not wearing shirts. So I'm trying to, I know. uh, Fernando wants to know, I, like to I just got the notice. Here's a, uh, here's a little easier one. Popeyes or Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Hmm. Uh, well, uh, I'm a Chick-fil-A guy. No pickle. You know why? Why? Because you can't get a Chick-fil-A spicy chicken sandwich without what makes it spicy is the sauce they put on it. They won't do spicy chicken on their chicken sandwich. They don't do that at Popeye's of, either. Are you, that's huh? what you're saying. You said Chick-fil-A, but you mean Popeye's. I meant Popeye's. Yeah. yeah. Popeye's won't do theirs without that spicy mayo stuff on it. Yeah. And they should just do a spicy chicken breast and then they would probably be better than Chick-fil-A. And then the battle comes down to, is it Chick-fil-A and, or is it Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich? Cause Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich should not be sneezed at. I agree. It's, it's, it's on the list. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.